Hey everyone, thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Avalanche and the fact that the rally is continuing. We put out a video on this a few days ago. Uh, we saw this move back over here a few days back and we speculated, hey, it looks like we might be making a move up to the top of our range. We are now at the top of our range, so we wanna do a little bit of dubious speculation from this point. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember, we do have the ITC stake pool, so if you wanna go stake your AVAX tokens, you can do so, and I would encourage you to do so. The reason being is because a lot of people think that day trading is in fact the way to win in crypto, and it's not. In my opinion, the way to win in crypto is to buy crypto and then forget about it for a while. And if you're gonna forget about it for a while, you might as well be earning interest on it. So again, if you, wanna, if you want instructions on how to stake your Avalanche tokens, make sure you guys go check out the description below, staking.intothecryptoverse.com, and you will see a tutorial on how to stake your tokens. Now, let's go ahead and jump in. What in the world is going on with Avalanche? Because it is up a very modest 124% on the week. Now, we don't get out of bed for 124%, especially when we're still coming in shy of all-time high, but it is still one hell of a move. And some, some coins have already made a move to the prior all-time high. Some coins, uh, they've not made that move yet. Uh, some coins are sort of in the middle of it, trying to make that move. And Avalanche is one of those coins that's sort of in the middle of it, right? Some have already made it. Some have not even really started. Some are in the middle of that move. And while I don't know in the short term if we're going to make it to the prior all-time high, what we do know is that we have made it to the top of this move uh, of this prior band that we were in, okay? So if, you, if you're not familiar with the history of, of, this, of this coin, we first bled for a little bit when we launched, and that's fairly normal. Uh, we see that with a lot of cryptocurrencies. And then in January, things took off, right? And, and why did things take off in January? Well, remember with Bitcoin in January, that's when it finally started to to level out a little bit, okay? And when Bitcoin is above the 20 week and not, and, and just sort of chilling, not putting any all time highs, kind of coming down a little bit, maybe going sideways, that's when altcoins can rally. And so then again, you see that's where, that's where uh, AVAX, that's when it shot up, right? And then we more or less went sideways until May. And then what happened? What happened in May? Well, unfortunately we got the Bitcoin lull, the summer lull, right? And if you guys followed me, we said back in May that we need a three to six month lull in the market. Now, so far we had a three month lull, okay? It took us from, from May 10th until around August 9th when we finally opened back above the 20 week moving average. So, so far we've had about a three month lull. The only question in my mind is do we need three more months of playing in the sandbox or in fact, are we ready to go, right? Are we ready to go with Bitcoin? And honestly, I don't know the answer to that question. I'm prepared for both scenarios. If, if now's the time that Bitcoin's just gonna blast off to 100K, that's fine. If we need to kick the can down the road for a few months, that's fine too. Well, how does that affect Avalanche, right? How does that affect Avalanche? Well, remember, when Bitcoin is above the 20 week and not putting in new all-time highs, if it's just kind of sitting for a bit, that's when altcoins like Avalanche can rally. Okay, and we go look at Avalanche and you can see, I mean, it's rallied, right? I mean, let's go look at this metric here. And this is an important one that a lot of people overlook. I like comparing things to US dollars, but what I really like to do is compare altcoin Bitcoin valuations. Why? Because buying altcoins inherently means you're taking on more risk. And if you're gonna take on more risk, you sure as hell would like better returns, okay? Because if you can't get better returns, well, why do you take on extra risk, right? I mean, it's Pretty, pretty simple concept, right? So we have to at least challenge ourselves, and we have to look at the, the valuation of that asset against Bitcoin. So we go do that and we say, well, it's actually made a pretty nice move here. What did that move correspond to? Again, well, Bitcoin got above the 20 week on August 9th. That was when it opened above the 20 week for the first time in a long time, August 9th. What happened? August 9th? This is when Avalanche started to make its move, right? This is when it started to make its move. It didn't happen until after Bitcoin was above the 20 week. Now, again, we know that Avalanche started making his move against the US dollar before then. Um, it really started back on July 19th, but it didn't really start. I mean, it sort of started a little bit earlier, maybe beginning of August or so, but these larger candles didn't come till August 9th. And then this one came the week of August 16th. Okay, so again, you see the same thing playing out. When Bitcoin's above the 20 week, altcoins can do well. Not all altcoins, right? There's plenty of altcoins that aren't doing anything. There's plenty of altcoins that will never see their all-time highs again. So you need to make sure if you're diversified, you don't wanna be overly diversified, right? Pick the projects you think will stand the test of time. 
pick the projects that give you a decent hedge against other projects and, and ones that you think will ultimately do well. And Avalanche, again, is one of those ones that I do think will perform well for the duration of the market cycle. Now, if you're curious, what do we need to do to get to a prior, another, you know, a new all time high? Avalanche would need to go up by about 41 or 42 percent. OK, and and I mean, that would get us back to around 60 dollars. Is it possible for us to get there? Well, if you if you take a look at the ADA, the uh, the Avalanche Bitcoin valuation, you can see that it's about a 52 percent move, right? About a 52 percent move. Um, so certainly if we just went back to the prior AVAX Bitcoin valuation, then we would make it there. Um, so certainly it seems possible based on those. Uh, but one of the other ones to look at, I think, is AVAX Ether, right? Look at the AVAX Ether valuation. And you can see that, I mean, it, it's all dubious speculation at this point when we are when we're sort of just playing in the sandbox over here um, and we don't really know uh, we don't have enough history to really know what the range is but so far it seems like this is a pretty good a pretty good bottoming area and then maybe up here we'll have to see if, if we come back up here will ethereum make a move at that point because remember if even if avax goes back up to this region and puts in another 100 and 200 percent move against ethereum if it comes back down that doesn't necessarily mean avax has to come back down it could just mean that ethereum is making its own move so you have to re you know, have to recognize that if Ethereum moves, it can send the, the AVAX Ether valuation back down because often when Ethereum makes strong moves, that's when other coins kind of stop moving and they just kind of watch Ethereum make a move for a little while. So anyways, I would say watch watch these valuations, right? Watch AVAX Bitcoin, watch AVAX Ethereum. Obviously, we'll keep an eye on, on, on it against the US dollar. And you can see that, I mean, it's moving up even as I make this video. Right now, we're at $43. We're moving up pretty strong. Obviously, they recently announced the whole thing with the um, their... Uh, their DeFi, what they're, they're, how they're launching their, their DeFi campaigns and whatnot. So there's clearly a lot of excitement around around this token right now. I would say the health of this one is going to be largely dependent on, on what Bitcoin does here. If it just sort of continues to do what it's doing, a lot of altcoins are going to continue to fly. And that's just the way the market works. Again, I don't control how the market works. I wish I did. Uh, but this is certainly a nice thing when Bitcoin's just kind of chilling above the 20 week. We know that a lot of altcoins can make moves at that time. Now, remember, Remember that if Bitcoin has a pullback, which we do see it sometimes have pullbacks in September, that altcoins will likely bleed in the short term. That's just how the market works. And I would encourage you to when that when those types of when those times happen, take a step back from the market, realize that, hey, guys, this par for the course is what you signed up for. And and if it holds the line, then I mean, you know, we should see we should see Bitcoin trend up for a while. And if that happens, altcoins will take a back seat for a bit. When Bitcoin stops, then you can see altcoins move again. But right now, it seems like we're, we're reminiscent sometime of, of, of this phase over here back in, in August of 2020, when Bitcoin was sort of just chilling above the 20 week. Sort of seems like that's what we're coming into right now, chilling above the 20 week. Altcoins are making moves. If we go back down and test it, it's gonna spook altcoins for a bit. It's gonna spook Bitcoin too, obviously. And if we hold it as support, that's what can potentially lead Bitcoin into a new rally. That's what we're looking at. Again, if you're not staking your AVAX tokens, make sure you guys go do that. The ITC stake pool, you can find a link to that in the description below, staking that into the cryptoverse.com. Thank you guys for tuning in. We do have the sale on the premium list. We're gonna close that in about a week. So make sure you guys check that out. You can find a link to that in the description below as well. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe, let's go for half a million subscribers. Give the video a thumbs up, click the bell icon to turn on notifications. And I will see you next time. Bye.